Hi guys, hope you're well. So me and Tesco are really passionate about you guys eating more veggies, right? And there's not a better way than this dish. Sweet potato tikka masala. Come on. It's all the deliciousness of a nice indulgent curry takeaway, but you can do this at home. It's really quick, it's really easy to do, and the flavors are amazing. So let's talk about it. We've got sweet potatoes, lovely red onion, peppers, and we're gonna drive that flavor with this. A brilliant little cheap ingredient. This is a tikka paste. It's gonna be delicious. So I'll cut the red onions like this. Just gonna unpick into little petals like this. We're dry frying, there's no oil. So we're gonna scald it and char it. You're gonna get a smokiness from this that you're gonna love. Then we got the peppers. Get your thumb and stick it in the stalk and then tear and bust open. Shake out all the little seeds, take out the white bits, tear that into nice little chunks. And look at the color. I've given the sweet potatoes a nice scrub. Take the ends off very carefully. Just get your knife in and cut it in half like that. Sweet potatoes are a fantastic swap for potatoes. We all love potatoes, yes, but it doesn't count as a veg, right? It's a starchy carb. These do count as a veggie. They're really nutritious and they can pretty much do everything a potato can do. In they go. Now, if you have a little look, in no time at all, you know, we're starting to see color happen on the pepper like that. What we're starting to do is achieve that sort of complexity of flavor that you might get on a beautiful tandoor or something like that. We want maximum flavor with minimum effort. Now, after about five minutes, we're gonna then go in with the next part of this recipe. I'm gonna take my two garlic cloves and just finely slice it. And then I've got coriander. I'm gonna take the leafy part, just put that in a little bowl of water for later. And then the stalks, don't throw it away. Finely sliced, and then we got the paste. You can use it in curries, but you can even brush it onto chicken and grill it and roast it. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So we go in with the two tablespoons of paste, and that'll start mixing with the charred veggies. It smells amazing. We're gonna go in now with the coriander stalks and the garlic. So we're building up the layers of flavor. And then I'll just kiss it with a little oil. Now we're frying. Absolutely, smells delicious. Keep it moving around. And then we're gonna go in with two other ingredients. Tin tomatoes, classic, easy. And then some beautiful butter beans. Now you can use any beans you want, but butter beans for me, I like chunky, big, substantial. And of course, a fantastic source of protein. So we're gonna put the beans in, juice and all. And that juice, will start to calm the heat of the pan down. And then we'll go in with your tin tomatoes. I prefer to use plum tomatoes. I think they've got better flavor and just crush them through your clean hands. Get stuck in, get in there. And then I'm gonna fill this tin up with water. So in with the water and that's it. But we've commanded so much potential out of this dish. And all I do now is pop this in an oven. Now the oven's at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And I'll give that around about 45 minutes. And then that lovely juiciness will cook down. It'll be a thick gravy. And then I've got a great little tip for a flavored yogurt that's gonna make this really, really creamy. Easy. Have a look at that, absolutely beautiful. And you can see it's got thick, it's still got gnarly bits, but it's still beautifully colorful and it's blipping away. Now, I wanna make this nice and creamy now, right? And there's a lovely way to do that. Just using a little lemon, go into a bowl with some lemon juice. I'm just gonna use a natural yogurt. So go in there with about four tablespoons, gorgeous. And then get yourself a grater and just get a garlic clove. You only want about a half and it's gonna give it real attitude, like a nice little bit of oomph. We'll season it with a little salt and pepper and then that rippled through our lovely curry. It's gonna be simply amazing. So I've got the coriander that I put in water. Just tear that into our lovely curry here. Guys, look at the color. So just go in with the yogurt and then all I wanna do is get this curry and just ripple it. I don't wanna fully mix it. I love the way that it makes the sauce go creamy. Look at that, so beautiful. Who doesn't love a beautiful, comforting curry? And I love just to serve it with flatbreads, naans. Uh, in this case, I'm doing it with some poppadoms and I've done some rice. A simple, wholesome dish that's gonna go down well every single time. You know, everyone always says vegetarian food is boring. Look, this method, this technique, this is all earning massive points in flavor. And then just look at this, big chunks of colorful, gorgeous food. I love it. Look at that. The sweet potato has sucked up all of that flavor. Really, really nice. And it's just exciting, it's exciting. So, poppadoms, happy days. Enough chatting. Wow. Mm. 
It's just a really, really good taste. That, my friends, is my sweet potato tikka masala. Absolutely delicious. What are you waiting for? Get that to Tesco, get the ingredients, get cooking, or go to Tesco online and you can get the whole recipe. But enjoy, you're gonna love it.